Really, you two? You're both acting like pigs. Oh, let them have a little freedom, James. It's not like we've eaten recently, either. I'm sure they've been starving. Still, that's no excuse for stuffing their faces like backyard swine. I almost couldn't hold it in. <laughs> I couldn't hold in my laughter anymore. As I laugh, Matthew and Sam look my way, but stuff. Is something funny? What are you laughing at? I stopped to catch my breath. I leaned over the table and took a few breaths before replying. You both are so funny. Both of their faces turn a slight pink before they look away from me. They swallow the food in their mouths. Sh shut up! We're not funny. We're hungry. Well, we're, we're glad that we made you laugh. Shut up, Matthew! What? I'm just saying. <laughs> See, James, it's entertainment for her. Eventually, we all ate dinner together. It was strange eating with just guys, but they were enjoyable to be around. They made me feel like a part of their family as we ate together. However, our peace was soon disturbed. Oh, it's my mom, excuse me. Hello? Hey honey, how are you? I'm sorry I didn't get to see you off. Hi mom, everything's fine. I'm actually eating dinner right now. Oh, good, good. So there was food there. Well, your father wanted me to call and talk to you about having a house party tomorrow night to celebrate the new house and all. A house party? Tomorrow night? So soon? Your father insists. You know how he is with events. I knew exactly what she meant. He didn't like long relaxing periods between important events. It was slightly messed up. I was expected to act on the drop of a dime from moving immediately the day after a phone to my grandfather's house to now organizing a party. I know. Well, since I don't exactly have you two here to help me arrange it, I'm going to need some time to prepare things. Oh, that's fine. I mean, Suzu and Naomi can help. I have work and you know how your father is. I know. I have to do it myself. He won't help. I'm sure it'll be amazing, honey. I have faith in you. Thanks, ma'am. Alright, I gotta go. I love you, sweetie. I love you too, ma'am. Great. Now, how am I going to do this? Is something wrong? She has to organize a house party for her parents. How, how did you... Oh, right. My reading. <laughs> But yeah, I gotta do it soon or my parents will be really disappointed. I have to stay up and organize everything tonight. Hey, why don't we help you? That's what we're here for, right? I don't see why not. I can name a few reasons why we shouldn't. Sam? Back off! Uh, we'll take care of everything, miss. Just leave everything to us. That was surprising. I didn't think the boys would ever help right off the bat. I couldn't help but smile. I was actually rather thankful now that I let them stay. Now I didn't have to do everything alone. As I kept thinking about it, I couldn't help but yawn. Feeling a little tired over there, princess? Yeah. It's been a long day. At least, tomorrow's the weekend so I can sleep in. Then it hit me. Wait, why are you all going to sleep? We found some guest rooms on the opposite end of the house from the master bedroom. I'm sure those will do just fine. Oh. Got it. Alright then, I'm heading to my room to study and sleep. I guess I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good night. I will. You too. With that, I left the dining room and went to my room. Eric, no. What? I wasn't going to do anything. Yes, he was. As soon as I got into my room, a wave of exhaustion hit me. Why am I so tired all of a sudden? I just woke up from the nap. I dragged myself to my bed and hauled up one of my bags. I opened it and grabbed my economics book, knowing that no matter how tired I was, I had to study at least a page or two before sleeping at last. The words on the page scrambled my mind as I read through them, but after two or three tries, I managed to understand what the page was about. Equations. 
Huh. Finally, I decided to change into my pajamas and head to bed. Today had been a long day and I needed a rest. Hopefully, tomorrow will be better. Three days of surprises in a row would kill me. With dark fall in my mind, I drifted to sleep, embracing the darkness of slumber. <laughs> you fucking pretty boys think you're all that, huh? Well, save that to the end of my pistol! Huh? What's going on? I couldn't move my body. I felt like I was tied up, and I couldn't see anything beyond the darkness that surrounded me. Yeah, I could hear the sounds of a hidden argument coming at me from all directions. <laughs> One move and she gets it! Let her go! Matthew? Come on, chicken shit. Fight us like a real man. <laughs> like you scare me, Sam. Come on! Take one step, I dare ya. Why can I see? Stay away from her, Malix! And what are you gonna do, nerd boy? Suddenly, I felt myself pulled to one side and arms wrapped around my body protectively. I've got you. Don't worry. Huh? Eric, as I was held in a tight embrace, I felt the roll around me once again settle into a low, peaceful room. The hostility of the dream before had faded into black as the arms around me rocked me comfortingly. Slowly, though, my eyes flutter open and I look up at the person holding me. Damien! I stare into the eyes of Damien. His face was painted with worrying closer, and I knew he must have seen my dream. Why did I dream of Eric holding me, though? You can't control your dreams. Oh, uh, well, I guess you're right. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. What time is it? It's 9 a.m. James and I were making breakfast when I, uh, well... You can't control your mind reading. No, not yet at least. I hope to learn eventually, though. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. That's good. I'm assuming you had a night... Yes, I'm sorry for disturbing you both. You didn't disturb us, miss. Besides, we'd rather make sure you're okay before anything. Oh, thank you. Now, why don't you come downstairs with us and have some breakfast? I'm sure some nice food will take your mind off of what you dreamt of. 